Ah, right, quick one today. Uh, I just want to talk about this frame and more importantly I want to talk about the uh, PDF file that you can download from Tom's site. Um, yeah, it's a PDF as I just mentioned. It, um, I don't know how it was made but I think it's probably been scanned a couple of times or something like that because the lines are a little bit iffy. There's sort of two lines around the edges, so I'm not sure. Well, you can measure it, but you know, you have to measure it to work out which one to use. The holes are, yeah, they're sort of circles rather than crosshairs. So there's a little bit of scope for screwing up there. Basically, it wasn't the best thing to use to make one by hand out of wood. So I have made something else. Um, it's the same, well, important dimensions are all the same. Um, it's also in PDF, but it's ready to print out. It comes as six pages in the PDF. So you print it out, it's all marked up where you need to cut and join. And yeah, I've only put on there the holes for the Z-axis mounts because the rest of them aren't critical and in my case I'll probably be using completely different holes anyway to mount therefore the power supply and the ramps and stuff like that and I'll be figuring out something else uh, but the important dimensions are there and also to make it a little bit easier to cut out of well anything really um, I have made all of the radiuses in all of the corners 5mm so you can run a 10mm uh, drill around all that before you start jigsaw or whatever the rest out and uh, it should be good I personally when I get to this very soon um, I have actually drilled out the holes which you probably can't see but I have actually drilled out the holes for the z-axis which I kind of wish I hadn't because with all the best will in the world um, you only need a slight bit of movement on movement on those A4 sheets as they go through your printer um, and things aren't going to line up and they really need to line up those holes. So what I would recommend and I'm going to try and do this even though I've got the holes already I'm going to try and drill new holes um, is to well watch the video when I do it but basically only put two holes at the very bottom to get you started and then use the actual parts of the printer to line everything up, get the holes in the right place, and everything should be good. So if you want to uh, download my PDF template file, it's on the website, which is linked below. And there's also a link to the original one that I used, and there's also some sort of notes about mostly what I just said, and uh, yeah, how to use it. So I hope that comes in useful.